Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com with your next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 382. What isn't in this YouTube I don't know. I have got stuff for die cutters, I've got stuff for stampers, I've got stuff for people who like to color, I have stuff for people who don't like to color, I have some stuff for people who like mixed media. There is, I, I have I have the kitchen sink also in this YouTube. <laughs> it is, it is oh, a lot to do, but you know what? It's all achievable. Everything that I'm gonna show you today can be done by any level of crafter, really, honestly. And we're gonna take some product and we're going to literally turn it upside down. <laughs> literally upside down. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a minute. Now, because we have so much going on and I have the newest Simply Botanical for January. Yes, Simply Botanical is back for 2021. It is a, that's a program that is exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple. These are my designs. And this year we have partnered with Spellbinders. Last year we partnered with Hero Arts. This year it's Spellbinders. And who knows who we're gonna partner with next year. I think I'm liking changing the, the manufacturers that we partner with each year because then everything seems fresh and new all over again. So I have the latest Simply Botanical. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is one set of Diane and stamps. It's, it's one set once a month and the name well, the name Botanical gives you an idea of what the theme is. It is value priced at $14.39. And it's limited, it's exclusive, it's, um, I really like my Simply Botanicals. I, I'm very, very partial to them because they're pretty and I like pretty. So I've got that to show you. I've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to tell you about. Let's do that because truly, I do, I have everything and the kitchen sink on my table. All right, so winner, winner, chicken dinner. These are for people who posted last week in YouTube number 381, and that was the Simply Defined Dyes. Hello, I'm Stacy. I'm the designer of Simply Defined Dyes that you will only find at Scrapbooking Made Simple. And we used the inexpensive embellishments from Creative Expressions to kind of woo them up a little bit. Now, if you hear your name, that means you have won a $25 gift card to Scrapbooking Made Simple, and that gift card will be in your account or should already be in your account. Congratulations. How do you claim it? You don't have to do anything. Just log in and hopefully when you check out, you'll see that there's a credit there waiting for you to spend. How do you get a chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner? You have to hit subscribe. There's a heart down there, a heart that has SMS in it just hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can then leave a comment and you go into the running for a winner, winner, chicken dinner. We do two prizes every single week and you never know when I'm gonna call your name. You just don't. I hear that all the time. I get emails. I never thought it would be me, never. And then you read my name and then I screamed and then I scared my cat and then my husband came running in and <laughs> I get the funniest emails. So the two people I have here are winner, winner, chicken dinners and congratulations to both of them. Our first winner winner is Sandra, Sandra Hall. Hello, Sandra Hall, is that you? Because if it is, you are a winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> What a way to start off 2021, right? But you are not alone. I have a second winner winner and I'm loving the names this week. I am dyslexic, not like a little dyslexic. I'm a lot dyslexic. So if you ever get an email from me and there's not a typo in it, kind of iffy if I actually wrote it or not, there could have been somebody who, who hacked my account. Most of the time there's, I try to catch them, I do but most of the time there's a typo in my emails. Anyway, our second winner, winner chicken dinner is Denise. Hello, Denise Fonda. Congratulations to you too. You also are a winner, winner. $25 gift card in your online account. You don't have to do anything to claim the prize. We will take care of it for you and enjoy spending it on something that makes your heart happy, whatever that can be. Or maybe you're gonna pay it forward and get something for one of your friends. Who, and it will make their heart happy. Some of the best, 
some of the best feeling you get is when you give something to somebody else. I mean, it's nice to receive, but gosh, the joy you get in giving is also, well, that's why we do this, because I get so much fun in giving, <laughs> giving it away every week. I get so much pleasure giving it to you. Makes my heart happy. All right, so winner, winner, chicken dinner dance. Are you ready? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, kachu for you. Congratulations, girls. Enjoy your prize. Now, sunny California is not so sunny right now. We are in, oh, in about three hours, we're going to have a torrential downpour. They are saying we are going to have two years worth of rain in about four days. We'll wait and see. Lights may go off. We may be floating down. Get an inner tube, right? <laughs> so I want to get this, I want to get this filmed and loaded as soon as I possibly can. That's why we are, we're going to push through today. Okay, I have a worldwide launch for you. We have Sizzix product, we have Hero Arts product, and it's not just a Hero Arts product, it is an exclusive bundle that is at a price that is on brand new product. Wait till you see what they have put together that I get to give to you. <laughs> I mean, really, it's amazing. So we've got Sizzix and a worldwide launch. We've got Hero Arts with a bundle that is like, I've got Tombow markers, which you probably already own, and if not, you've got something similar to it, whether it be Marvies or Stampin' Up. I'm gonna play with Marabou markers for a little bit, and just a whole lot of fun. Now, the Worldwide Launch, I wanna tell you about that before I tilt down and get started for today. Worldwide Launch, phone rings. Bring, 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 bring. Hi, this is Stacy. Hi, Stacy. this is Ellison Sizzix. Well, hey, Sizzix, how are you? Well, we're doing good. Guess what? We had a shipment come in really, really, really early of a product that you really, really like. Huh, really? So, Sizzix, tell me, what product are you talking about? Well, Stacy, we have brand new opulent paper packs. A brand new paper pack. It's called, is it, is it, it's mystical. It's called mystical. And it's come in like a month and a half before it was supposed to. Would you be interested in looking at this paper? Well, okay, that's like me asking you, would you be interested in looking at this paper that's not released yet anywhere and it came in early? Of course I'm interested in looking at it. So they send it over to me and I take a look at it and you know, it's really beautiful paper and I see where they're going with it, but I could not wrap my head around what I would do with it because I have to like tweak it, I have to make it my own. So I'm sitting there with the paper and I'm playing and I'm playing and I'm playing. This is after hours, stores are closed, the store's closed. And I'm playing with the Hero Arts product and the paper and I have this idea. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. So I pick up the phone, bring, 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 and Sizzix answers, hello, this is Sizzix. And I'm like, hey, this is Stacy. Remember you sent me that paper? And they're like, uh-huh, did you like it? And I said, oh, I loved it, but I'm not going to use it the way you want me to use it or the way you think it should be used or the way you even thought it could be used. Is that okay? Because if it's not, then I can't do this. <laughs> they're like, huh? I said, yeah, I, I'm going to use this paper in a way you probably hadn't thought to use it. So if that's okay with you, I would love to put this in the YouTube with Hero Arts. It's perfect for what I wanna do. But you have to be okay with it because it's not going to be using the paper perhaps in the way you had intended on using the paper. So I said, why don't you call over to the UK because the UK, right, they, they run Sizzix. I said, just make sure they're gonna be okay that I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with it. You just need to be sure that they understand I'm not gonna do anything typical, normal. I'm not just gonna mat stuff with it. And so I said, if they say that's okay and that they're not gonna give me any grief, <laughs> then I'd like to use it. Bring, 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 literally 10 minutes later. We talked to the UK, they're on board, go for it. Worldwide launch. <laughs> I'm very excited about that. <laughs> and when you see what I do with it with the Hero Arts product, it's like these two peas were in the same pod, yet got separated. 
Okay, so before I start with all of that, I, you're like, get to it, girl. I know. Before I get started with all of that, I'm going to tilt down. I'm going to show you the new Simply Botanical, which is now a partnership between Scrapbooking Made Simple and Spellbinders. So each month for the next 12 months, I will have a new Simply Botanical for you. The price is exactly the same as last year, $14.39. They are limited. And I'm excited about, I, I, I'm, am I designed through June? I think I might be designed through June. I love them all. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tilt down and get started for today. It's good to see all of you. It is, it is. Okay, let me tilt down, bye. They're like, how many cups of coffee did this girl have? None. <laughs> this is just the way it is. Okay, tilt on down a little bit more. Straighten out just a hair bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so new Simply Botanical. I think this is too high. Hmm. New Simply Botanical. What do we think? There's my birdie with all the extra elements. So sayings. And then I've got the die to go with. $14.39 and exclusive. Now this is mock-up packaging. <laughs> Let me tell you, this was like, oh, we need to get it done quickly because they are land, I think they land tomorrow here, but I'm taping today because of the storm. So mock-up packaging, but when you get yours, this is, this is, this is pretty much what it's going to look like, but I love, love, love. Now I want to show you some of the cards that go with. So again, it is the stamp and the die in the same package. Looky what you can make. What do you think? So you've got the birdie, you've got the floor, the, the, the um, blossoms to go with it. You've got the sentiment to go with it. So there's one. Ooh, what do you think? Don't tell me unless you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to tell me you don't like it. I'll never know that you don't like it. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. <laughs> and then look at how elegant and soft from bold and vibrant to soft and elegant and sweet. Ooh. So Simply Botanical, again, it's limited. We only have so many. When they're gone, they're gone, unless somebody cancels or doesn't pay for their order. And they release once a month, and it's just one set once a month between Scrapbooking Made Simple and Spellbinders and all original art. These are all my designs. Okay, so that's Simply Botanical. Now let me show you what we're gonna be working on today. In just a couple brief, two little samples. Ooh, right? Isn't that pretty? Got that ring light going. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if the if the camera if I can zoom in the camera will pick up the glittery paper but it's not it's it's not glittery paper it is but it isn't and then the other sample how cute is that now these little doors pop open these little doors pop open this is a hero arts stamp and die set but what's under those little doors? Well, that you have to wait for. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get started for today, shall we? Let me put that one back down there and those over there. And I don't know, my ring lights just seems to be off somehow, but we'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Okay, so let's start with, I think I'm gonna start easy and work my way harder. And I think the first thing that I'm going to start with is the uh, exclusive paper from Sizzix. Look at, isn't that, look at, 
Beautiful, right? All oh, it's this beautiful ombre glitter paper. Ooh, I guess you can understand why they call it mystical when you see this, right? So in their in their packs of their opulent paper, which we have done many times, all of their packs, you always get 50 sheets of paper and there's 10 sheets of five different styles of paper. And that's the same here, no different here, but they are all specialty finished papers. So you're going to get 10 sheets of that beautiful ombre, 10 sheets of the pink to white ombre, 10 sheets of the white glitter, 10 sheets of the silver mirror and whew, isn't that the holographic amazing today i'm only going to be playing with the top three sheets next week i'm going to be playing with the bottom three sheets but i wanted to give you an idea of what they look like I'm gonna put my glasses on an idea of what they look like so you've got the beautiful glittered ombre and then you've got a, and this one has texture to it. It actually has texture to it. It Nothing's going to flake off or come off. And it's a coated paper. Doesn't smell funny. <laughs> and it has a beautiful glitter to it. This is a little different. This is a glossy finished paper that has an, an ombre to it as well. Can you see that ombre? Ooh, and it goes from dark pink into a white but the glitter here is underneath. It's a smooth paper with a holographic glitter look to it. And I, again, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up or not, but I'm hoping so. Look at how pretty is that. Then you just have an all white holographic glitter where again, completely smooth. You can see that it's smooth. It has no rough texture to it, no glitter to fall off but it does have a beautiful glitter look to it. And then the two silvers, which I'm going to use next week, not this week. But you get 10 of each of those. Look at that, wow. <laughs> Holy smokes, artichokes. <gasps> okay, okay, wow. <gasps> look at how pretty. Look at how beautiful is that, right? So these I'm gonna play with next week. These I'm gonna play with today. And we're gonna start, I think, with, like I said, doing something super easy for those of you who like to ink and like to stamp. And I'm gonna start with just the white. I'm gonna cut myself a piece and scooch it on over. And to start with, we're gonna play with marabou markers. We're gonna move into Tombows a little bit later, but I'm gonna use my marabou markers. And marabou markers are an alcohol-based marker. They have double tips, so you have a super fine point and a regular tip on them. They are very much like a Bic or Sharpie marker. When you think of Bix or Sharpies, those are permanent types of markers, meaning you can write on plastic and glass and metal. Well, that's the same for the Marabou markers. The difference is you get the two tips and they are priced about the same, if not a little bit less than buying a 24 pack of Bix or Sharpies if you were to walk into like Staples. You can find Bix or Sharpies for a very good price. And if that's where you would prefer to put your money so that you can get something maybe like one of the, the Hero Art stamps. I'd, I'd like you to save where you can save. And if you already have Bix and Sharpies at home, then use those and play with those. But for today, we're gonna be using our Marabou. And I love them, they're great little pens. I think I'm even gonna go down half a size. So because this is a glossy paper on the top, glossy but it's got that glitter can you see that holographic kind of glitter in it it doesn't scream glitter it kind of says hello I've got a little subtle glitter I'm I, 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 you know I'm I'm a little shy but I'm coming out of my shell is what this paper says it's not like 
Whoo, glitter, I'm, I'm way, <laughs> I'm out of my shell. This is like, I'm a wallflower deciding that I'm gonna come out and, and, and be part of the dance. So if you like the look of some depth and dimension to your projects, this is a good paper to go with because it gives it just that little extra something to it as opposed to being, um, well, as opposed to being, so here's the disco dancer. Here's the disco dance. <laughs> I mean, when you talk about glitter paper and ombre here, this one's like, hey, look at me, look at me. Hello, hello, hello. And this one's like, hi, how you doing? Nice to meet ya. So I'm gonna start with this and we're just gonna play with alcohol inks. Now you all have seen alcohol inks before. Well, maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but alcohol inks usually come in a bottle and you drop them down and you put some alcohol with them and they mix into colors and you schmush, 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 or you dab, dab, dab. And we'll do that again, maybe in April or May of this year. But, but the same alcohol that's in those bottles of, whether it be the Marabou alcohol ink or the Tim Holtz alcohol inks, it's, it's a similar formula as what's in your Bic markers, your Sharpie markers, or your Marabou markers. It's an alcohol-based product. And alcohol-based products are meant to go things that are non-porous. This top piece is non-porous. You can see that high gloss. It's a non-porous type of material. The back is just paper. That means you can die cut this super easy. It's not a plastic. This isn't a plastic at all. It has kind of a film over the top of it and, uh, and a paper backing giving you the opportunity to die cut with it without any problem. But it also gives you an opportunity to play with alcohol inks on the top. So for me, easy way to do it is just take your Bicker Sharpie, put a little bit on your craft mat. Now I'm not gonna do big circles or mix my colors. I'm gonna put a little bit on my craft mat and then I'm gonna take a little bit of my hand sanitizer, which is actually what I'm using right now is hand sanitizer in here. And I'm going to give a little spritz, spritz, spritz. And it's going to start to activate. And then I'm just gonna kind of dip my paper in there. And I'm gonna start to layer color. Now, because it is an alcohol-based product, it dries very quickly on a non porous type material. Dry. Right? It is the only way you can ink a non-porous material. If I was using, if I wanted to do something on the back, I could use, because it's paper, I could use Memento or my India ink or a, a Lawn Fawn, uh, Tim Holtz, Distress, Oxides, whatever. You could use all of that on the back of this but you couldn't use it on the front because none of that would actually dry. So now I'm gonna dip into another color. Ooh, look at that go, 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 go. I'm gonna dip into another color and let's get some green. Is that the green I want? No, I think I want this green. Oh yeah, I want that green. Dip into some green and a little bit of alcohol and it's going to kind of kind of move around a little bit and then I'm just going to put it right on top and start layering my color. Now I might want a little bit of blue so I if I add a little more blue I can come back put a little bit more blue down a little bit of a spritz and add some more blue in. And just start building color. Easy peasy. If you've been kind of, I don't know about alcohol inks if I'm ready to go there yet, this is a fun way to play and try. And uh, Because I do have something coming, I think in April or May, that is alcohol ink set is like, ooh. So this is a good way for you to kind of wrap your head around how it works without spending a lot of money because like I said, you can get Bix or Sharpies at Sam's Club, Walmart, Costco, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, Rite Aid, 
all you, what little store do you have? Chance Staples, Office Max. Chances are they have them. So let's put a little bit of a little bit of purple in there. And maybe a little bit more purple. And I'm just going to continue to layer my color until I am happy, happy, happy. But I am getting there. Pretty, right? And a little bit more blue. Now where, or maybe a little more green, where I, it's wet, I don't want to put my marker down where it's wet with the alcohol. I need to find a dry space because I don't want to put my marker into alcohol. It won't leave any, it won't make a line. You won't get any of the ink out. And this is not the, I need to go back. This is the one I want. So I'm just drawing a little space, add a little bit of my, a little spritz, and then go in and pick up some of the color. I think I'm okay there. What do you think? So you do need to give this a few, well, I don't wanna say a few minutes to dry because alcohol dries pretty darn fast. And if you want to make absolute sure, you can give it just a quick little buff. And any extra will come off, and I think I'm good to go. So now I'm going to take one of my stamps from Hero Arts. The stamps that I'm using today were part of a program called Shopbox. And Hero Arts does this program exclusively for independent retailers. The stamps might be available now, but originally it was part of a program that was released very early in January called Shopbox. And Hero Arts takes out a portion of stamps that they're gonna release and they say, okay, independent retailers, here, you get to have them first. Not just scrapbooking made simple, all independent retailers who want to purchase them can purchase them to kind of give us a little jump start. <laughs> and the stamps that I'm going to use today were part of Shopbox and beautiful. I mean, look at this. Is that not just like a gorgeous floral background? Right? So pretty. I think I'm going to tilt this back up and put this back there. So pretty. So I'm going to take it off. It's a cling stamp. That means that this rubber on this side, cling on this side. And if you have a stamp block, the one I have is a little small. This stamp is an A2 size stamp and it's just a little bit big for my stamp block. If you've got the, a stamp press, you can absolutely use that. If you've got a nice little stamp press, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and just put my stamp upside down with the image facing me. As opposed to stamping this way, I'm going to be stamping up and I'm going to put my paper down and against it. The ink that I have to use is a alcohol-based ink as well, and I'm going to use a Stazon. If you've seen Stazon, or even I believe Archival ink from Ranger, it is not a water-based ink, it's not a dye-based ink, it is a permanent ink. So very much like a Copic marker, or a Bic, or a Sharpie, the same type of ink that's in here is in here, only in a stamp pad form. That means if I wanted to stamp on glass or plastic or metal or something non-porous, I need to use this type of an ink. If I were to grab uh, my Hero Arts India ink and stamp on here, it would wipe right off. It would never dry because it has nothing to seep into. If I was to use a Memento ink, again, that's a dye-based ink and it needs to seep into something as opposed to evaporate on top. This has the alcohol that lets the ink sit on the top and the alcohol evaporates super fast so it doesn't need to absorb in. 
I'm going to ink up my stamp. Now when I do this, it may change the color. You can already see I've already been stamping with it and it may leave some black behind. Can you clean this stamp? Yes, you can. You can take your alcohol, you can take hand sanitizer, you can take stays on solvent cleaner. If that really bothers you and you want the stamp to be clean, go ahead and clean it. A rubber stamp is much more hardy than a clear stamp. If you get solvent on a clear stamp and you leave it for too long, it will start to eat away at the stamp. A rubber stamp is, is, a, is a much hardier stamp, so you can scrub on it and really get in there. I am one who does not care that my stamp is going to be black. Once I know that it, once I wipe it off and, it stamp, and I can turn it around and stamp it clean and nothing comes off, I could put red on it or purple on it or blue on it and that black is never going to come off. So I'm going to ink it up with my stays on and this is a midi. So that's what they call it, a midi. It's not a mini, it's a midi. <laughs> Which means it's the, the smaller size of the ink. And I like the smaller sizes because they're a little more cost effective. Stays on does sell a bigger size ink pad and we used to carry, well we still do carry it, but we carry the midis now too only because I don't know how often you're going to want to use a stays on, but it's nice to have it. But if you can spend $5.50 as opposed to $8.50, well, wouldn't you rather spend that? So I've got it all inked up. Now, I'm gonna turn my paper right down over the top. Oh, I hope I didn't smear it. And rub its back if it's back and I think I mentioned last week that I heard people were taking like erasers from chalkboards and dry erasers and using that to do a back rub because they could hold on to that better as opposed to trying to lay their hands flat we'll see if I smeared it all right you want to should we give it a whirl Ooh, I did not very pretty just beautiful and now I need to let it dry because again that ink is not quite dry yet it takes you know it takes a minute or two for that to happen it's not like instantaneous you want to give it an opportunity to set but it's not going to stay wet too long I mean I can touch it and it's it seems to be okay I'm going to trim it out And now I've colored that beautiful stamp. You might have looked at that image and said, oh, that is a lot of coloring for me to do. But if you play with alcohol inks, the nice thing about alcohol inks is that they have a transparency to them so that it's not opaque, which means you're still going to be able to see the glitter coming through on the paper and you're still going to be able to see the stamped image and the whole effect is really beautiful let's see am I dry yet uh, I think I am so easy to use easy to do and I just played with the white sheet. That's all I did. I played with the white sheet. Threw some ink down, spritzed it, picked it up, and then stamped on top of it. And then what you do with it afterwards is really up to you. I've got some I've got some cardstock here. And so I could put it against here. Well, let's cut it out. I know, I'm just freehanding. So let me cut the other two out. Just so we have an idea.
All right, well, not straight, but you will forgive. Oh, that was really not straight. All right, good enough. It's just to show you matting. So I could put this here. And have it look like that or I could put it there and have a much softer look to it or I could put it there and have a totally different look it just really depends upon what paper you're going to choose to map this with and that will make all the difference on what your finished product looks like. Do you need something a little more subtle? Then use the lighter matte. I could have grabbed a green in there. But with all of those colors playing well together, you have options. And what did I do? I took a, just a plain piece of opulent glittered holographic paper. You get 10 sheets of just this color. And I threw some ink down and spritzed it and then plopped. Anybody can do this. Even if you're the first type of you, you're just starting to stamp. Get, get a stamp, get some, get a stays on. Now you may already have stamps. What background stamps do you have that you can do this with? And again, like I had said, this is kind of a wallflower, the, the paper. It's not the, it's not the, uh, the one that's screaming, look at me, look at me at the dance. It's kind of a wallflower, but it has that depth to it. It has that, that a little bit of, of something that draws you in. And when you look at the paper and you see it through the alcohol ink, it's just a little element of a surprise, a hint, a whisper of a surprise under there. So, that's using the plane. I really, I don't know if I love it this way or if I love it on the purple because I really like it on the purple too. It just picks up the, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm gonna put those to the side because then I'm gonna grab the pinky one. So the pinky one is exactly like the white one, made exactly the same way, only this has got this ombre all the way down from white to this darker pink. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this paper. And you're like, but Stacy, it's got pink on it. I know, in fact, we're going to embrace the pink. We are going to take and put the white side because the white means you just have more of this, wahoo kachu, but the pink, we're going to embrace it. Same thing, paper on the back, coat it on top. You're going to need to use an alcohol-based ink on top. On the back, you could do whatever you wanted, but on the top, no, no, no. And this time, because I'm starting with that pink, I could pull in some purples and some blues, or I could pull in some yellows and some oranges and some pinks. Key thing here is if you're gonna go from color to color, you need to be sure, be sure that your craft mat is clean. In fact, you could even get a piece of tin foil. They don't call it tin foil anymore. That tells you how old I am. Aluminum foil, and if you wanted to put your colors on aluminum foil or saran wrap or something else, you need to be sure that your mat is crystal clean because once I start drawing, putting those colors down, if there was a little bit of blue or a little bit of purple left over, it's gonna come up. Did I have that happen? Yes, did I make it work? You bet I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna just make sure my mat's clean and I'm gonna scribble some yellow. And remember, I'm not going in big circles or all over the place. I wanna keep that color very concentrated. A little bit of alcohol and let's just go in there and pick up some of this yellow okay so I've got some yellow on there not much maybe I want some more do I want some more let's put some in the middle 
So I'm not going to go back because it's still a little wet there. I'm just going to move over a little bit, spray a little bit. There. So picked up some yellow. Now let's add some orange. I'm not going to put it here because it's still a little wet. So I'll put some orange down here. and a little bit of spray and let's go pick up some orange yeah okay i'm getting there now let's try some pink and i'm going to put some pink up here You can't look at it like this and say you don't like it. That is not going to work for me. <laughs> you have to finish. You can't get halfway through something and look at it and throw it in the trash. You cannot, especially when you're playing with alcohol inks or inks that you blend. You must finish. I implore you, finish. And then if you don't like it, throw it away. But 99.95% of the time, you finish your project and you look at it and you go, huh, that wasn't half bad. <laughs> but if you look at it like this, you're gonna say that just looks like a mess, Stacy, and I don't like that at all. You've got to give the, the, the product and your creativity a chance to shine. Look at that, it turns it almost like an orangey, but when you put it on, ooh, it's like this really hot pink, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna pick up some color, and maybe I want a little more yellow, so I'm dry over here, and put a little yellow there. And as the colors touch each other, they're gonna blend a little bit into each other because that's what they're supposed to do. And maybe a little more pink, is that dry? Yep, a little more pink. Just right at the top. And maybe around the side. Hmm, what do we think, are we done? I don't know, maybe a a little bit of orange, right in the middle of that blob of pink. Zoop, zoop. And, ooh, okay. Okay, I like that, I'm gonna be done, I'm gonna stop. Step away from the creation. Sometimes enough is enough. What does Mary Poppins say? Uh, enough is, a, is as good as a feast? Absolutely. Enough is as good as a feast. I'm going to sit this aside and it needs to dry. It's still drying. I can still see that it's drying. And while it's doing that, I am going to clean up my, my table real quick. So I just used different color on the pink. See, it's picking up color. If I was doing the blue and the green and the purple and I had that yellow down there, it would have picked up. I would have made it work because that's what you do. You make it work. This is a Tim Gunn type of place here. It's scrapbooking made simple. We make it work. Now I'm gonna take my stamp and I'm gonna put my stays on on it. And again, this is the Sizzix Opulent Paper. It is their brand new mystical collection. It is all specialty paper. And it is on a worldwide launch for quite some time. You're only gonna see it here for, gosh, I think over a month will be the only place you can get it. That made my heart happy because it got here early and I got a phone call and well, then I called them back and then we we all came to a Wahoo Kachu moment. Bring, 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 bring. So, Sizzix folks, whether you be a US Sizzix, 
employee or a UK Sizzix employee, if you are watching this, no, I haven't gotten to the part where I, I, I turn your paper upside down and over again and backwards and do something completely different with it. Uh -uh. So I think Ellison really, Sizzix had meant you to just really use it for matting and die cutting and things like that. I don't think that they ever had really thought about, hmm. But then I saw the Hero Arts product and I thought, hmm. So when I talked to them, I, I'm not gonna, I didn't tell them what I'm gonna do because that's none of their darn beeswax. I just need to know they're not gonna get mad at me. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. Love, I love playing like this. It's easy, it's fun. You just never know how it's gonna turn out. No two are the same, totally affordable. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit over there. Gosh, let's see. Can I cut three sheets of this at once and still have it kind of look okay? Well, let's give it a whirl, shall we? three sheets at the same time so you didn't have to watch me cut each sheet individually. Actually it's not half bad for a, cutting through three sheets on a free hand. I think I'm almost going to be okay living with that. So for that one and on top's a little winky but okay so does it fit? Does it fit? Wouldn't that be funny if I cut it too short? <laughs> Been there done that. <laughs> oh no. Okay so do we like it? Look at how pretty it is. Markers. Do we like it there on that? Um, do we like it here? It changes the whole vibe of it just by changing the matting. Or, oh, I cut through four sheets. Ha! Ah! Well, then I did an even better the job than I thought I did. Do we like it there? Are you soft and subtle? Are you tropical and bold? Or are you tone on tone? You tell me. You have options. And just so you know, this is also Sizzix cardstock. Just so you know. Um, this is their, their original pack. This actually has 80 sheets of paper. You get 20 colors of cardstock, and that means four sheets each. And we've had this for a long time. It is a great pack of cardstock. Love the color. Oh, wait till you see the new packs that I got samples of. <laughs> They're not in yet, so I don't get a worldwide launch as far as I know. But that could change. Pretty, right? So do you like the, and remember, I started, I started on the pink, not on the white. This started with a pink base. Remember, pink base. So do you like that color combination? Or do you like this color combination? Beautiful thing is you don't have to choose, you can do them both. You can have it all. How often do you hear that? You can have it all. Well, at a buffet. <laughs> of course, there hasn't been a buffet in about a year, Lil. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so we have played with the first two sheets. The first two sheets of the Sizzix new mystical opulent paper. Both of them have a holographic glitter. One of them is plain white. One of them is, is an ombre pink. And again, I think they uh, that Sizzix just meant for you to use it for matting or for die cutting. I don't know that they necessarily thought that we were going to ink them, stamp on them, and then, you know, do, do anything like that. But I'm not done. I'm gonna take this piece now 
And we're going to move on to something a little bit more, hmm, outside the box would be, <laughs> would be a very fair way of saying it. First off, this has a texture to it. It is glittered. It's not going to come off and it doesn't smell. It is a paper backing. Paper backing, uh, glittered coated paper on the top. It's beautiful. But I thought, huh, I knew that I was going to be playing with Hero Arts today because I, I saw this and I wanted these Hero Arts a while ago. So I knew that I was going to be playing with that. But then when this came into the mix, I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I just want to, can you see, I just like to pet it. It's so pretty. I just want to pet it. It's a good thing you get 10 sheets of it. <laughs> so I thought to myself, huh, what am I going to do? So I tried a million different things with it until I finally figured out like, ha, I've got it. Because when I saw it, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with these. That was easy peasy. This one, this one took me a little bit of thought, but then it was like this moment. And that's when I called Ellison, when I called Sizzix and said, okay, I'm not gonna play with your paper this way. I'm gonna play with your paper this way. And I can hear them all right now saying, <sighs> there was like a collective groan at Sizzix. What is she gonna do? have faith, have fa a little faith and trust and pixie dust and we're gonna make magic. <laughs> so this was one of the stamps that was part of the shop box from Hero Arts. I love this stamp. I love this stamp. It was so whimsical and cute. I did not want to color the whole thing. <laughs> Wait, we'll get there. And I was playing with this and I thought, gosh, this is really nice paper. I wonder what would happen if we stamped onto the back of it. What if we didn't use this at all? And you're like, um, I just paid how much to get exclusive worldwide launch mystical paper? I know, like I said, faith, trust, and pixie dust, and we're gonna be just fine. And I just cut my piece down just so I have it. Just go, you know what? Mm, do I want to make sure that, yes, I do. I just want to make sure, I've got a die to go with this. Wait, you'll see. I think I'm going to cut to the, my die size just to be sure that I am safe. Because I'm going to use, for each sheet of this, I'm going to get two cards out of it. Yeah, I think I'm good there. The paper is not eight and a half by 11. It's European size. Oh, yes, I am. Yay for me. <laughs> it's A4 size, which is a European size. So I've got this darling little stamp. And I've got this ombre paper that some of you are looking at going, oh, yeah. No, not for me. And some of you are looking at it going, oh, sign me up, sign me up. <laughs> but I'm going to turn it backwards. And I'm going to stamp on the reverse side. So, and I really want to keep it as, you know, I, I, I want to keep it pretty close because I do want to use this piece over here as well. I want to make the most of what I've got. So I'm going to ink up my stamp. This time I don't have to use stays on. I am not trying to stamp on the coated paper side. I'm stamping on just the plain old paper side. So I can use my memento, my lawn fawn, my Tim Holtz, my, I don't know, stampin' up. I'm going to use my India ink from Hero Arts. It's black. It's a beautiful ink. It may stain my stamp. I am okay with that. It will not come off. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to ink, 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 ink. 
make sure I've got good coverage. I am not doing this. Hello, how are you today? Did you have a good day at work? How about, what? Well, what's for dinner? Are we having for dinner? Uh, how was the dog? How was the grandbabies? How was the kids? You do not need to add that much ink to anything. Just get good all over coverage and move along. You know who you are who do that with your ink pads. I know you do. All right, I'm gonna turn it upside down. And, uh, well, I'm gonna put my paper down. We're gonna stamp with, no, yep, nope, that's right. I'm gonna keep my stamp down and turn my paper so that my, my pretty side is facing me. I'm stamping on the white. I know that sounds very weird, but I'm stamping on the white. And down. And let's just give a good all over back massage. You think we're good? You think we're done? Now this is a brand new stamp that's never been used before, so I probably should have stamped off or cleaned it first, but hey, no guts, no glory. All right. Oh, yay. Look at there. I'm very happy with that. No complaints here. Now I'm going to trim it on down. And I'm going to stay relatively close. I'm going to stay as close as I can because you would mat it anyway. Stay as close as I can. We'll see if I'm too close. I'm going to die cut with it too. I'm going to die cut this. So we'll see if I'm too close. All right, there's my image on the back side of the pretty. I'm going to save this piece because we're going to need that piece shortly. So while I've got it on the back side, I'm going to go ahead and color it. And this is where my Tombow markers come in. I'm not going to use my, my Sharpies because it's going to be a very intense color and it's going to be very dark. I want to use my Tombow markers, which I know lots and lots of you have, and I'm not even going to color everything. I'm going to go in there and maybe I will color in... I'll put some blue in some of my windows. And I'm not blending. I'm not uh, palette painting. I am taking my marker straight to my paper. Now I'm just gonna color in some of my windows. Because again, I don't want to color the whole thing. I do love to color, don't get me wrong. But by the time I would color this whole thing for you, well, it would be next Saturday. Saturday with Stacy YouTube class. Um, so let's color in my windows a little bit. Just so there's some consistency you'll see that the ink does not move, my black is not bleeding. That's the beautiful thing about the India ink or a memento black is that it doesn't move. Okay, so I've colored in, I've colored in my windows. Just a quick color. Now I'm gonna grab my, a green, and I'm gonna, Oh, I'm just going to, and and I'm going, I'm not giving it any rhyme or reason. I'm not trying to be careful. I'm just trying to come close to being in the outline of the image. And I'm going to color in some of this greenery because that green really pops. I'm just going to color in some of the greenery. And again, I'm not trying to do leaf by leaf. <laughs> I'm just keeping kind of to the outline of the image. Even with the little vines. I'm not going to be exact. I'm just trying to get some color on there.
that's the beautiful thing about the Tombows is you've got that brush tip that lets you do fine lines and it lets you do fat lines lets you just get right in there and of course it is also double-sided so I could get in there with if I wanted to go in there and I did want to color each and everything yeah I don't but I do want to add a little bit of green here and there and I want to be relatively quick about it Okay, now I think that's where I'm at. Hadn't taken me very long. I'm gonna go in there with like a pink. Ooh, let's do this pink. And I'm gonna put in just some circles. Literally, some circles. Into my green, I've left a little bit of white space. And I'm gonna, it doesn't matter where the stamp says there are flowers. I'm gonna make flowers wherever I think I want flowers. Yeah, I'm not going to necessarily care whether the stamp says that there's a flower there or not. I'm just going to draw pink circles and add some flowers where I like flowers to be. And I might go back with my green and go a little bit around those pink flowers just in case there's a little open space of white just to get rid of it. Now I put some flowers in there. And then I might even take my dark pink and put a dark dot in some of these so it looks like it's got a center to it. I don't have to do all of them. I didn't do any in there. Maybe a little bit of a dark, a dark pink dot. Okay. I'm good so far. Now maybe I throw, um, this is a big piece down here, so maybe I go ahead and do my awning in yellow. Look at how fast I'm coloring. This is not about being overly accurate or you just want to stay inside the lines. And I'm not blending anything, so if you're not a good colorer, it's not because you're, I'm asking you to blend. So I've got that there, and maybe I'll do some yellow curtains up here. Some yellow curtains there, and I don't know. Uh... Maybe I'll do this one. A little bit of purple. A little bit of purple. A bit of purple. Maybe my frame here, just in pink. And my little transit in pink. Again, just trying to add some color here and there. Not trying to do too much with it. And I'm gonna leave quite a bit of white space. But just a little bit of color here and there. And no blending. And maybe my yellow. Cross and maybe my yellow in here. And my pink. 
pink here. All right, I think that's good enough, right? I missed a little green in here. A little green over here. There. Good enough for you. Good enough for me. I'm okay. A little I like the green. The green is kind of everywhere and it just pulls everything together. So a little bit of green here and there. And then my little pink flowers in there. And it just ties everything together. All right, done. That's all the coloring I'm gonna do. We're gonna move on. You are welcome to color the whole thing. I wanted to spend just a few minutes on coloring and that's what I've done. But remember, what are we gonna do? Are, am I really just gonna tape that down and matte and totally forget that side? Heavens, no, 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 no. To go with these dies, are, or to go with the stamps are two dies that Hero has made that add little windows. They add little windows so that when you cut this, this little piece is gonna open up. There's a score line on all of the sides of these little windows, so they're not gonna come out. They're gonna open. They're gonna open. Super cute, right? Really easy to do. But when you do this with white paper, when you open your window, what do you get? You get white. And don't forget, we need to put, the window has to open onto something, right? Do I want that one or do I want this one? Well, I don't know. Maybe I want this one. The window has to open onto something. You need to, normally they'll take a basic card base. I don't think I have one. They'll take a, a basic card base and they would stamp directly onto the card base and cut the windows and then put a little something behind it or they'll they'll leave the card base alone and they'll mat something here and put all the little the little stamps that you've got to fill those windows in with because you've got all of these windows when they open up what are they going to say what are you going to see what are you going to do ha huh. okay that's where running this paper backwards makes all the difference in the world now they have the two dies. One of them is round and one of them is rectangular. And when you're playing with the stamps, and you can really use these on any of your stamps, but these stamps were made just for it. And they have, I think we have maybe five or six stamp sets that they've done in the past for their peekaboos. So here's the stamp. When you lay the die over it, there is a right and a wrong. Help if I put it forward. There we go. Okay, so now I can read the word blooms before I had blooms backwards. When you lay the die over it, there's a right and a wrong. Can you see how the windows kind of line up with all the little icons? Can you see how the the windows line up like the blooms? It has a really big window because it's gonna it's a bigger window there. It's, it needs a bigger die cut. If I had done it this way you'll see that they really don't line up anymore. See how that nicely that lines up? And it's the same if you're using the more oval looking. They all interchange and work together. So if I take and I lay this on top of the blooms, you can see down at the bottom, that's a bigger die cut that gives that window more space. And it fits all the little icons in here, all the little windows. But if I turn it this way, it doesn't fit anymore. You only get half of the word blooms down there, which is why we drew a little arrow saying up. Here's your stamp, here's your die, up. And we just drew a little arrow, just line it up, grab that Sharpie marker or that Marabou marker and just draw yourself a little arrow. 
because this is metal, it will stay on it. Will it eventually rub off? Yes, as you're sending it through the die cutting machine, you may have to add it back in a, you might be able to get five or 10 die cuts out of it and then you might have to, it might stay on forever, who knows? But that's how it fits. So that when I am looking here, I know that I want that die facing up. I want that die facing up. So I'm going to cut this real quick. I guess we'll use the, I guess we'll use the roundy one. I'm going to bring my Sizzix Big Shot machine on over. My markers everywhere. I've got my cut plate right down here. This die is going to go through your <laughs> epic six, or a, a platinum six, a platinum eight, a cuddle bug, a big shot, a big kick, a vagabond, a plus, a pro, um, a Gemini, a grand caliber. This die is going to go through just about every major die cutting machine on the market. I am using it with a magnetic platform because I don't want my die to move. Once I've got it all lined up, I want it to be happy, happy, happy. Ooh, too far. Okay, I'm going to cut and I'm going to send it on through. You are going to hear some creaks and some cracks and that's going to be just fine. Ready? It's kind of like <laughs> because this is not an intricate die, you should be able to cut it just once. If you want to roll it back, you absolutely can. Ha! See, I should have rolled it back because it's on this paper. Ha ha ha. Let's see. Oh no, they're coming out. They're fine. No problem. Except for that one. Oh, nope, I gotta go the way it goes. Okay, so now all my little windows, all my little windows are opening up. And what's on the other side of them is that beautiful paper. That beautiful paper is on the other side. So now you're not looking at just a white piece of paper as you're opening your windows, but you're saying, how do I finish a card? What, where, where are you going with this? Help me, Stacy. Well, I am going to help you. We're going to get there. Let me pull all of that off. So this is now all trimmed down and let's go and grab that other piece of my paper. Here it is. Now for me, for me, it is easier to make a template of this than to try to lay this onto my paper to know where to stamp. Because I want to stamp some little sentiments on this piece of paper. So I, I suppose I could tape this down and then stamp some little things in this paper. But for me, it is easier to grab a piece of cardstock. And make a template that I can use again and again and again. And I'm not going to color it. I'm not doing anything. All I want to do is cut it. want to lose that little piece of paper. Bring my Big Shot machine back over. My magnetic platform. Could you do this with a, a plain platform that you get with your machine? Absolutely. You just keep all of your shims together or your multi-purpose platform completely closed. And then I would, if I were cutting this, I would tape it down. I would tape my die on top of it down to it to my plate so that it doesn't move around. But right now I'm just cutting white paper and that's all I care about is just getting a template made 
so that I, I do it once and I can use it again and again and again. I know creaks and cracks, right? It's because there's so many little holes in this die. Okay. So now remember my little arrows, right? I'm going to pop this out. And I'm just going to put those same little arrows This was Claire's idea. Such a smart girl. So now I know when I'm looking at my card, ha, huh, up and up. That's what we want, up and up. Then I'm going to go through. And whether you have big scissors or my fussy cut scissors, I'm literally going to cut all of these little windows out and get rid of them. I'm going to use my fat scissors and just zoop and zoop. Let's open up all my windows and they all, they open in this way and that way. And I would cut all of my little windows out to give me something like poof by the magic of TV. There it is. Cut all my windows out. And this I'm just going to save. You can, I mean, it's just a piece of paper, but it's a nice little template. Why do I need a template? Because now I'm going to stamp. little piece of washi tape to make it a little easier. Little piece of washi tape just to hold everything in place. There we go. There's my paper. So I could stamp on here and add that to the back and it would open to white. And you'd have all your little sayings in there. Or I could flip it around and stamp on here. And have it open to the ombre. So you're thinking, oh my gosh, what am I going to stamp in those little spaces? I thought of that. So when I was talking to Hero Arts, I'm like, there's no way. Where are they going to find little stamps? Little tiny stamps to fit in there. Let's see, where did I put them? Oh, they're right here. Where are they going to find little tiny stamps to fit in there? Well, they have a mini, a little saying, a uh, sentiment stamp that you can use, but then I was able to convince them to let me have six. So we have, well, we actually have 12 different little blocks with little tiny, little tiny flowers on them. And one ink pad. So as part of the I Want It All bundle, where you get the two stamps that I'm using and the two dies that I'm using, you're going to get a random assortment of six little stamps that fit in here perfectly and one ink pad. There are four different colors of ink. So you may get an orange, you may get a green, you may get the gray, who knows? You're gonna get one and six and that's all free. It's all part of the bundle because then you can go in there and stamp. But of course, this is a dye-based ink. So I'm gonna grab these little stamps and I'm gonna grab my stays on. And, oh, so cute.
Now, like I said, we've got a little, they've got a mini sentiment stamp that will fit in here as well. But I didn't want you to, it's like, how are you gonna figure out what to put in there? I wanted to make sure you had something. And of course, if you've got stays on in a couple different colors, well, then you're set because you could be doing them in a bunch of different, uh, different colors other than the black. So cute. Having that, having that stencil, having that template makes it easy to know where to stamp as opposed to trying to line up, literally line up your die over the top. You see what I did with my die? No, oh, there it is. That's easier than trying to line your die over the top and stamp while the die is on it. Just make yourself a little stencil. So now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna finish my card. I can move that off to the side. Top to top. Get all my little windows open. direction would help. All my little windows open so I can see all my little stamps. Look at all the little windows. And they go back and front and forward and backwards. Trim down my top because I don't need that extra little piece up there. And shoot. Now I can put it onto my card base, whatever card base that is. to my card base and tape it down but the key thing is when they open their windows so the cards gonna come with all the little windows kind of they'll be opened because you will have opened them but they'll be kind of tucked down and then they can open them and look at you've got the ombre paper it's not just white looking back at you look at how cute it is with that ombre paper it takes that paper to a whole nother place. Who would have ever, well, I thought, but my goodness gracious. I mean, you may like the white, but it means it adds so much more. What if we put this against the purple? Ooh. And then you open them up and all those little sentiments are in there. And then they close the card and it's a that whole little image. So the the really cute stamp that I did here, the floral stamp, also works as a window, as a, as a peekaboo. And it's super fast. Let's go through it really fast. I'm gonna just go boom, boom, boom. Remember, I still have this half left, right? So I'm gonna stamp up my stamp, get my stamp going right here. I don't need to use my stays on at all got my India ink because I'm going to stamp on the white side. I've got the ombre there. Ink, ink, ink. I want you to see how fast this can be done. Ink, ink, ink. White side down. Line it up. 
and go, go, go. I got my hands dirty. Think I'm done? Pull it off. Yep. Looks good to me. I'm happy. Trim it on down. Turn my other side on over. Bring over my, my stencil. So I know which way is up. Tape it on down. I'm on the glittery side now. A few little cute stamps. Little sentiments if you have it. Again, these all, all six of these come, well, you'll get, there's six, 12 of them total, so you'll get six random shapes. They're all little flowery things. Cute. Part of the bundle. Set that over to the side. Bring this back in. Color, color, color. So. Zoop, 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 zoop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. I'm adding my flowers. May not be where the flowers are on the stamp, but in nobody gonna know. Grab my green. Come on in, color around those flowers. Color as much or as little as you'd like. Don't worry about being exact, just get your color in there. Okay, I think I'm good with that. I'm not even gonna bother coloring the windows blue this time. Anything else blue? Make the outline of the shutters blue. So I am spending virtually no time at all. And we can do these in blue. Coloring. I'm not blending. I'm going straight marker to my paper. And I'm okay with that. People look at these stamps sometimes and they see so much coloring and they don't realize it's not, it's about getting color on the paper, not being overly precise. And I forgot a little green. Where did I, oh, right here. Okay, 
I got some color on it. It needs some of that pink. It needs a little bit of, it needs some pink in there, yeah? Uh, we'll do these curtains in pink. And we'll do, um, we'll do this in pink just to add a little bit of lightness to it. And we'll do the door in pink. All right, done, finished. Not gonna do any more, added plenty of color. I'm gonna die cut. Remember my little arrows face up. My card is face up. Send it through my die cutting machine. This time I'm gonna go front and back. Just to make sure, just know all your windows don't open in the exact same direction. So if you think that something didn't cut through, try opening it in the other direction. Peel off all the die cut. So now I can see all my windows on the back side. One, two, three, four, five. All my little windows are popping open, easy peasy. Should have done the little kitty cat. How about we do the little kitty cat a little dark yellow? Okay. Gotta do the kitty cat, right? So, all my windows are done and open. Put that off to the side. Let's grab what would be like a card base. Line that on up. Trim a little off the top because I don't need it. A little bit of Stacy tape. Like it's gonna be right. No, a little crooked. Oh, that's good. Okay. Down and down. Remember to save your stencil. Otherwise you gotta do it each and every time. And if you just put it in the storage, wherever you store your stamp and die, well then you're fine. And Hero has, like I said, about six or seven different stamps that have the peekaboo element to it. But what if you had a background stamp that had patterns all over it or flourishes all over it? Couldn't you do the same thing with your own background stamps? Yes, of course you could. Now let's get this on here. 
Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Opening up some of my windows. Put a little bit of Stacy tape here. And peel it off. And a little Stacy tape on the bottom just to get it on there so you can see. thinking glue dots might be a better option because you don't have a whole lot of frame to work with. But the nice thing about the Stacy tape is that it folds right back in on itself. So easy to pee, uh, easy peasy. Now let's line it on up. Press it down. And I should be there. So when it's all closed, you have the most adorable little images. So cute. But when you open it, now you've got the, the inside is pretty too, right? Don't you want the inside to be pretty too? And it's got all of that ombre where sure you can use it for your background. Absolutely you can. You can use it for matting. Of course you can. But isn't it so cute? Let's see if I can get this one to go. I don't know how straight I am and lined up, but we're just gonna go with it. It's just to give you an idea. my cuts are really bad down and down this card when you start to finish depending on how much you color 10 minutes can you use them on your layouts yes can you use them in altered art yes the peekaboos can be used anywhere can you use it with stamps you already own yes oh it's so cute So let's take a little bit of Stacy tape and get this one down. A little on this side. And maybe a little on this side. And you've taken what was, I mean, it's beautiful paper, don't get me wrong. But you know, the inside, sometimes the insides are as, in, well, often the insides are as important as the outsides. And if you're going to do something pretty on the outside, why not just carry it all the way through? So when they get it, they get this. But then as they open them up, it's finished. It's a beautiful little way to decorate and use that ombre paper that is the the center of attention at the dance in a way that isn't so center of attention who would think to make the doors coordinate and match otherwise it's just white on white and there's nothing wrong with white on white but it doesn't take any longer it doesn't take any longer to add that finishing touch to it. Mount it to your card base and you are good to go. And like I said, the, the butterfly one also, butterfly one also is meant to do, the butterfly with the florals, also meant to do the peekaboos. I am sure that if you went through some of your stamps, just the dies alone would add a whole new element to it. But I love how you can ombre it, 
how you can open it and make it truly a finished looking card as opposed to just white and white. And they normally don't sell these the way we have them. They're usually sold in a tub and it's like $14 for the tub, but I couldn't bring you this product and not have a way for you to get something right off the get go so you could fill them in. You don't need to be looking for online for is that stamp going to fit or not. So we're going to give you the six of them, six different little flowers because it works with both the sets that the new the new sets that came out. And and that way you can start the minute you get it, you can start. And and if doing that is not your thing, well we started way back here. That makes my heart happy too. Hmm. Yeah, we started way back here doing the alcohol inking. No die cutting required, inexpensive markers, that's all you need, some hand sanitizer, and the stamps. So which is best for you? What works best for you? I think that these are just simply darling. And when you see the sets, I think you're gonna love them. And when you see the bundle that we've put together for you, it is exclusive. You only get the extra little stamps and ink cube when you buy the bundle. But then Hero Arts, I told you, they threw in the kitchen sink too because their brand new catalog has come out. Brand new 2021 catalog. Now they charge $10 for this and it has tons of inspiration in it tons of samples and product to look like even if you're not big on on buying anything you just i mean it's like the it's like the sears catalog when i was a kid and you would go through it at christmas time to decide what you wanted from santa claus but look at the beautiful images and scrap lift absolutely you can take the ideas from here you oh see and there they are aren't they so cute you can take the ideas from here if you're having a creative block and thumb through this and it's like an aha moment. I can do that. And you can. This is coming with the bundle too. So you get the you get the two stamps, you get the two dies, you get the six little individuals, you get the Hero Arts Cube Ink, and you get the catalog. Right? I told you this was all about the kitchen sink today. And a worldwide launch. I love the opulent paper. I have always loved their opulent paper. We have always played with it and treated it well and, and, and it does amazing things. This new mystical package, it just has, it has some elements to it that take you from the, the, the quiet, subdued, with some definition to the wow. And we only played with the three sheets. Remember next week, Next week, wherever I put them, next week I've got more for you. I've got the bling bling sheets. Oh, they're right here. We only played with three of the five sheets. Next week I'm going to play with these sheets. You may like these sheets just as they are. I mean, wow. So, we did a lot today. We played with a lot. You may want to make a note of this YouTube, but here, let me show you. Um... And not that there's anything wrong before I get to the samples. Do I have one that's just white? Oh, here. And it's fine. They look great. There's, there's, so here's one of the samples. And then you open it up and it's got, it's got the little sayings in it. I just wanted to, to be a little more finished, a little more polished. And it takes that paper and it tones it down and it gives you an opportunity to do something with it more than using it just as a mat. They're gonna wonder how the heck did you do that? And the doors, they match. And we've mixed and matched. On some of our samples, we have used this 
as the background and the ombre one, this one, as the four sheet and vice versa. We've mixed and matched and you can do that with that paper because it's a family of paper and it all works together. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. I'm gonna show you what is on sale and then I'm gonna show you the samples because the samples are amazing. Now, like I said, there is a bundle. The I Want It All bundle comes with the square die of the peekaboo, the oval peekaboo, or I guess it's more rectangular, the windows, and the florals. You're going to get all four. Then you're going to get one of either the, you'll either get the soft cantaloupe ink with six little stamps. You'll get the fresh peach with six stamps. You'll get the mint julep with six stamps, or you might get the soft granite with six stamps. One of those is going to come in there and then to round off the entire package is the catalog. So I want to say that the retail is somewhere around $85, $80, $85, $88, something like that. You're going to get the whole thing for $59.99 thanks to Hero Arts. This is all Hero Arts doing. Bless their pea picking hearts. An amazing deal. Really, it is an amazing deal. Exclusively only here at Scrapbooking Made Simple will you get that kind of a value. Then, remember, we did, they had that shop box that I told you about that is just for retailers. And so these are the items that were in the shop box. And we're going to put those on sale as well. And all of, you should see the, which you see the samples made with some of these dyes. And the new love, love you. It's huge love you. And then all the words to go with it. And the hummingbird that has the coordinating die. Belinda SMS Girl Belinda went crazy for this one. These were all part of Shopbox. They're all part of the YouTube Yummy sale. Hmm, I wonder why I have two of them. All part of the YouTube Yummy sale. This is the, uh, the scene, the hero scapes where you can stamp your scene and build that color. Remember we did that a while ago? Gosh, maybe a month and a half, two months ago. And then these are made for the peekaboo doors. And these sets come, they're a little more expensive. I wanna say they're like $26. They're on sale, but they come with all the coordinating sentiments that you can put in all of those little windows. So here's the heart one. Again, it has the main stamp, but then has all of these little sentiments and little extras that you can pop into those doors. And the book, like the library, and then all the little sentiments and little icons that you can put behind those doors. These are self-contained sets. And here's the, um, the solar. Doris made the most darling card with this one. Wait till you see it and all self-contained. So these four sets have everything you need. All you need is the die. But if you wanted to add some sentiments, because all I was able to do was give you six cute little flowers, they also make the smallest little hero greetings. And these will fit into those little doors. And they say everything from hello, love you, you shine, what's up, hot stuff, you're awesome, um, let's see, your magic, hey there, you amaze me, have a nice day, I like your style. I've only read half of them. So if you want to add to your little doors some sentiments, the hero greetings would be one that you would want to add to it. I didn't put this in the bundle because this has been around and I thought maybe many of you might have already had it but these will then fit your little doors as well. So, sample time. Oh, and then of course, well, hello, Stacy. We've got the Marabou is on sale. Those are the permanent markers I use to do the alcohol inking. And then we've got the worldwide launch 
from Sizzix. Okay, bring, 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 bring. <laughs> Are they gonna call me and say, what did you do to our paper and why did you do that? Well, because this is such a pretty sheet, but it could be limiting to some people. But when it's like this, it's not limiting to anybody. <laughs> and the rest of the sheets are easy to use, but you get 10 of each sheet and I love this. So this is also on sale. I will tell you this pack sells for $26.99 because they're all specialty paper. It's a little bit more than their typical opulent paper. We have it down to $18.99 and the next place you will see this will be HSN sometime in March. Until then, we're the only place to have it and you wanna get it at that price. Trust me, it's beautiful. All right, now let's do samples. Are we ready? So here's the heart. And this one has all the, that's the set that has all the little self-contained elements. So it's got the big hugs and the little hearts. It has everything that you need to fill all of your windows. I mean, how much fun is this, right? Somebody gets to open up all of those little windows and see everything. How cute is that? And here we have, this is the floral that I used today. And again, it's just a white on white. You could have used the Sizzix, the glittery paper that we used to do this one, the, sh the one that doesn't actually have the glitter. And you could have put that and stamped all of your sentiments on that because it's white. And it just would have added a little something without it being too much. So super cute. And then we have, now here we use the ombre for the background. There's that Sizzix ombre for the background. And we used the pink and white ombre for the door so that when you open them, it's finished. Look at, see, it matches. I don't know. I think when you have the opportunity to do it right, do it right. I love these. Look at, they just all open. And then when they're all closed, you've got a birthday card. And then when they open, somebody gets to read all of those wonderful sentiments. And we use the ombre paper, the glittery one, for the backdrop. And then look at this one. This is with, I bet this is with oxide inks on the back side. And then you open it up and you've got that ombre paper. Look at, you've got the, the ombre paper here and the window doors match it. And we use just the white glittery to stamp on. Taking things and using them in a way that maybe you wouldn't have thought about. How pretty is that? I love that the windows match the mat. And then, so this is a darling card. It's not the one I'm talking about. The one I'm talking about you'll get to, but look at this. This is just using that um, space set just as a card. You don't have to pop the windows all the time if you don't want to. You can just use the stamps for stamps. Get how cute is that? And then here, ha ha, here we alcohol inked first on the white, like we did the first thing we did, and then we popped it, we put the doors on it, and we've got the, the pink ombre behind it, and we've got the, the more glittery ombre ink uh, paper from Sizzix as the mat. So you've got three different pieces of Sizzix paper in here. That makes it just lovely. And then here, this is a card using one of the shop box. That's that big love that I showed you. And here's all the, some of the words that go with it. And then that one of the wreath dies. So this is using dies from the shop box that they offered just for uh, independent retailers. And they may be available now everywhere, but at that time it was just for us. And look at how pretty is this. 
again, there's that ombre as a matte, and this is the alcohol ink on the kind of the glittery, the white glittery without being too glittery, just made into a beautiful little card. And again, not overly colored, simple, easy, but then you open it up. You've got the ombre as the mat. You've got the ombre behind it. You've got the white glitter stamped on. So sweet. And then the books. So stamp just on white. And all the books open up. And if I recall right, the books are a self-contained set. So all the little doodads come with the books. So you get a whole bunch of little stamps that you can fill your, your doors with. You can stamp behind your doors. Miss you. All the little doors. Hello. And then how, I mean, this is beautiful. Look at how, look at how little coloring there is on this one. Look at how little coloring. And we've used the ombre paper and then you open it up. And again, the ombre paper makes the doors so everything coordinates. And then we use the white glittery paper to stamp on. And we used all the little stamps that may come in your bundle. You're going to get six of them. This is such a pretty card. Okay, and then we've got here where we use the flowers. And again, everything opens up. Got the ombre on the back. Got the white down there. Got the white on both. So you've got this piece and this piece match. They're that white glittery that we were alcohol inking on. It's about taking something you weren't expecting or taking something that somebody wasn't expecting and making them go, oh! So this is the one, the sample that I showed you. And now when you open up the windows, now you know. It has all that ombre. And when you close all the windows, it's just the most darling little card and then they get the joy of opening everything up. Here we just alcohol inked and made a simple card. Stamped with the floral with the butterfly and matted. Use the marabou markers to do our alcohol inking. Here I've got the cityscape that's part of the shop box. These are all also on the YouTube Yummy. Here I've got the books. Oh, I wasn't supposed, you know, if, oh, I don't know. Here I've got the books. Oh, return by <laughs> from me. So the, yeah, this has to be a complete set, the little books, and then I'm supposed to open it up. Dream big, you're special with the little cat. So this was all done with the Sizzix paper. And here we used the white with the stamp and colored it in. And then the ombre on the inside. And here we've got the birthday. And the birthday comes with its own self-contained little sentiments and little icons to fit inside your peekaboos. And this was made using some of the product from the shop box. This one was done using product from the shop box. This one was done using product that we use today. All colored though. I mean, you can see, you can see, you can take it from mine is partially colored to completely colored. What works for you? 
this is works for me. I'm better here. All colored in for you. Here's the thank you so, so, so much. This is a die part of the shop box. Miss Belinda went, in true Belinda form, she went cray cray over the stamp and die set because you get to do different hairs. And I, she just, she just loved it. She just went, okay, that one's for me. And then here is Doris's solar scene. So she did, uh, I'm pretty positive these are oxides on the back side of the ombre paper and then you open it up and that ombre matches the colors that she's got oh it's just beautiful and you open all the doors can you imagine doing this for a, a, a little boy or a star wars fanatic for their birthday we just used the we're, we use the back side of paper kind of like uh uh Schweitzer falls at disneyland the back side of water it's the eighth wonder. Well, then the ninth wonder is learning that you can use the backside of paper to make some pretty magnificent things. I'm told to open it up. Oh, <laughs> all stars shine for you. You can do all of this, I promise. Oh, this is long YouTube. Okay, well, whatever. It's a class. It is what it is. And there's no commercials. So, hello. <laughs> Let me tilt them back. Okay. So I have all of this for you today. I have the worldwide launch. I have the hero bundle that is at an amazing price. I have all the shop box product. We have simply botanical for you between spellbinders and scrapbooking made simple. It's like a plethora of whoo and ah. <laughs> so it is me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, ho .com. hoping you learned something new today or maybe something sparked your attention or inspired you to try. Maybe you just love that Sizzix paper. We're the only ones that are going to have it until sometime in March when it will be at HSN, but for $18.99 a pack, I don't know that they're going to beat our price. I don't think so. And, and by that time, it will have shipped to you because we are shipping within our 30-day time frame for all orders placed in 2021. Also, first 200 orders for the Shop Hop, it, uh, we've sent out, uh, if you were a pay later, it's been sent to you. So check your inbox. It would be an email from PayPal on behalf of Scrapbooking Made Simple. And if you are not sure, you are always welcome to give us an email or a call. We can always take your payment over the phone, whatever works for you. But those first 200 orders are going up first thing Monday morning to start filling. Woo woo, woo woo. Okay, you guys, it's me. I'll see you next week. I hope you had a good time. Don't forget, if you can shop local, shop with your, your, your crafty buddies at whatever mom and pop store is the closest to you. And if not, then go online. We're, we, we appreciate all of you and we appreciate your business and we appreciate you supporting us, but we also appreciate you supporting all the independent retailers out there. Okay, bye everybody, toodles.